We, we actually covered the previous run as well. Uh, really? Yeah, yeah, you guys had the... Well, uh, he, he did Five years ago? Yeah, 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 yeah. I interviewed Darius, uh, Darius and uh, Xiong Hui. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, okay, okay. yeah. Hi, 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 how are you? <laughs> Thanks for having me. Just your scene. Wait, can I change scene with you? Really? Yeah. <laughs> I forgot this by the other side. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the other side looks like I've got no hair. Huh? <laughs> you never <laughs> asked me about the other side? <laughs> oh dear. Which is I the don't other know side? what I, I don't know. Every side is good. No, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. I'm just a director. <laughs> I, I'm not like on stage, so I don't know. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's true. I'm the behind the scenes person. <laughs> What's up? Great okay. yeah, no. <laughs> So, did you. Were you involved in the last run of uh, Lacan's? Of course I was. Haven't you done your research? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, don't do that to me! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't you see the show by myself? Uh, yes, I did. Yeah, exactly. I didn't, didn't see the program. It was so long ago, you know. And, my memory fails. At our age, right? Yes. yes. So you go, you go, you know, give me some okay, slack. Okay, okay, okay. I understand. Okay. I'm one year older than you. Okay, right. were you directing the last one too? The, the last, the last, the last, uh, last uh, yes. Okay. Yes, I was. Yes. So, so why didn't you want to be in it, like, on stage? What do you mean? There's only one role. And oh, the God. role was taken by Ivan. <laughs> I didn't want to fight with him for the role. Needless to say. Exactly. So in the end, I had to be the director. But huh? you could take as turns. In all, as in all the shows that we do, I'm always behind the scenes. So now I let my sister take the yeah. first all choice. Right. First, yeah. yeah. You need to take the no, Yeah. <laughs> I'm just there to support. Okay. <laughs> so nice of you. <laughs> okay. So, but, but, yeah, but, end of the year, end of the year show. Oh, uh, the performing. Okay. I can't say very much about that. Okay. Because <laughs> we're here with Tom Alakash. Wigs and all. I don't know. I can't he, say he anything. Can't say, I'm just I'm trying to push your button a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Okay. Why, why the same show again? <sighs> you really want me to talk about yes, that? Yes, I, I do. I need more than 10 minutes, man. No, you got it. <laughs> well, because I think the musical is very, very relevant. <clears throat> um, it talks not just about and um, talk not, not just about um, you know, uh, tolerance, but it talks about embracing diversity. And in these current times that we live in, right, we just talk about Brexit, talk about Trump, um, populism, there's a lot of polarization going around the world. There's a wave of conservatism. Yes. Um, and you know, people are protecting themselves. It's, it's all about me, 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 me now. It's not about us. People, uh, um, so I think. This musical is about looking at things from a different angle. It's, a, it's about the possibilities when you look at life from a different perspective. Where, um, and so I think it's a very, very relevant musical for our times, um, um, and particularly with what's going on in the world, um, which to me is very, very frightening and very terrifying um, as, we, you know, as we enter into our 21st century. Um, it is scary that I just feel that the world is taking a few steps back. We, we are not progressing, we are actually regressing as um, a race. And I think um, this musical celebrates um, diversity in all its colours and all its sizes and all its shapes. And um, it, it, it's about embracing and celebrating that diversity and accepting that um, other people can be different and we can all live in this world together. Um, I think it's also about not being critical and not being judgmental. I think this world has become very, very, very judgmental um, and you just have to look at Singapore. How relevant can it be for us here? This production, um, compared to one for five years ago, yeah. um, the changes which we've made this time around, um, it is set today, 2017, in Singapore, in yeah, Tanjung yeah, yeah. Baga, China. Tanjung Baga, actually. Yes. <laughs> and um, um, so we've localised it even more. Okay. Um, and so that people can identify and that people can relate yeah, to yeah, what yeah, is yeah. happening yeah. Um, in, in the nightclub yeah. in Tanjung Baga in Chinatown. Yes. Yeah. yes. Uh, what were the factors for, for choosing the people you chose? Well, um, I haven't played uh, the lead character mm -hmm. the last time. And um, I think there are not many people who can fit those shoes in Singapore. You know, somebody who can act, somebody who can sing, somebody who can dance, you know, a triple threat. And somebody who understands comedy. Comedy is not easy to do, even though a lot of people look down at comedy. But actually comedy, um, you know, it's really, really hard yeah. to do. Um, for the male lead who is played 
this, this time around by Sean Ghazi. Mm. Um, Sean Ghazi um, is an amazing talent, as we all know. You know, he won the first Fame Awards in Singapore, I think in 1995, 96, when he sang <laughs> the first Fame Awards, if mm. you remember. Um, he had just come back from England at the time, and um, I actually met uh, Sean when I was in, in London, and I was running a theatre company there in the early 90s. So we go back a very, very long way, and I've been trying to work with him in Singapore, but you know, he's been, he's been carving out his own um, career in KL, okay, okay. and in Los Angeles, um, and he only just came out from Los Angeles, I think last year. So I grabbed the opportunity to ask him to play this role. Yeah. In, in, in fact, I did ask him to play the role five years ago, but he was too busy at the time. Right. Yeah. Right. So I noticed you use, you, I think you use some of the same people, I mean besides Ivan Hing, mm. you use some of the same people like Jose and... Um, the only two, oh, oh, the, the only, the, the only uh, uh, same casting um, as the last time are uh, only Ivan, Jose and Leon, and Darius Tan. All the rest are all new actors. So it's really very much a new production, mm. uh, at least the way I feel. And, and I've cast two uh, new Singaporean actors who were not who were not characters in the last show. The last show, I took these two characters out. I'm going to replace it with right. these, two, uh, these two characters in this production. Why? And, so and they're going to be played by Dwayne Lau and, um, and I think of Crenshaw, who just graduated. Yes, yes, I graduated. Yes, yes, yeah. they're good. They're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, no, so, so, in order to make it more local and more uh, identifiable. Are, are they the comedy characters? Yes, of course. <laughs> I of course. suspect. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, they're fun to watch. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, tell me when, when you do this a second time, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Do you do you have a whole new vision for it? Totally, you're going to like the old yes. one, forget it. Yes. Let's start Absolutely. With, yes. Um, um, I mean, I have a new set designer, um, so the first thing you see is going to be very very different. The minute you enter the theater, it's not going to be like the last time. Don't forget, we are also performing in a much smaller theatre this time around, the Victoria Theatre, yeah. which seats 600 people. Mm -hmm. The last time we were playing at the Esplanade Theatre, which seats 1,800 people. So, so it's three times bigger. The Esplanade is three times bigger. And um, we purposely chose a smaller theatre this time around because we want to emphasize the intimacy yeah, of the yeah, musical. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the musical at the end of the day is about a family. Yeah. It's about, it's about um, two parents and a son. And that's what it's all about. And so we wanted to really um, focus on that aspect of the musical. Because you can get lost in the sequence of the feathers and the dancing and you know the amazing sets. But ultimately, it's a musical about family and it's, of course, a musical about love. Yeah. Mm. So I think, um, you know, right from, from the get-go, when you enter the theatre, it'll be a different look. The space is different, it's much smaller, much more intimate. Um, we, we, we have new costumes, everything's new. And I said, you know, only three of the, the, the leading uh, actors are the same as the last time. All the rest are new actors. Yeah. Mm. So all the costumes will be localised? Uh, yes! Yes, yes, you must see the finale because it's going to be like a Miss Glamorous. Universe, no, a Miss Universe, <laughs> a Miss Asia pageant where wow. all the different countries of Southeast Asia will be represented. Okay. Yeah, so you have to identify each and every one of them. So, yeah. scale of 1 to 10, how much, how much glamour and <laughs> razzle will, be there, will, will there be in this um, one? You know, because it's a smaller theatre, it'll yes. be 300 times bigger. Yeah. <laughs> because it's the same number of bulbs, and same number of sequins, <laughs> and same number of bow feathers, but it's in a one third the size than the Esplanade. So everything will be really bling bling. Yeah, I, I really much prefer a smaller theatre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get closer to yes, what's yes, going on. Yeah. And, and also, um, you know, for the actors, they don't have to like play so big. Yeah. They just play more, yeah. more real. Whereas in the Esplanade, it's not. It's very very difficult for the quiet moments. Yeah, and we can't see the faces. That's right. Yeah, that's right. This time we can. Or it can feel what yeah. they're yeah. It, it seems like uh, compared to five years ago, I think like like the art of drag is, or rather, drag is taken more seriously as an art form nowadays. Yes. And you know, yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. And I mean, because of RuPaul's Drag Race, right, which is yeah. like so international, right. Um, people are taking it seriously, you know. It's not just, uh, yeah, yeah. So I, I think mm. uh, drag has come into the 21st century. So mm. we, have, we hope to be going to reflect that too in this production. Mm -hmm. it struck me that this, this, this musical is so ahead of its time, you know. It, when when uh, it was premiered, like how yeah, many was, years like, ago? In the mid 80s and, yeah. in, in New York, uh. and it, it came, it came around the same time as AIDS. 
Uh, mm. I, I mean, the, the whole AIDS thing, mid, mid 80s. This musical came out just before the breakout of that crisis, ah. actually. Mm. And, and if you think, you know, um, I mean, they only legalized homosexuality in America in the late 60s or the 70s. Mm. And this musical came out about 10 years later. Mm. You know, so it was very relevant for the times then. It's very, very relevant here in Singapore. Even till today. It's still illegal in Singapore to be homosexual, or at least to commit acts of homosexual, uh, sexual acts, mm, whatever, mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, and I think like nowadays, like like in pop culture, it's kind of like you know supporting homosexuality is a, it's kind of like the in thing. But you know back then, it's still something that was very taboo. Yeah, and I think yeah, in in, our, in Singapore pop culture, it's still a very taboo subject. Yeah, which is so absolutely ridiculous. We're in the twenty first century. You know, we have we're one of the we're most we're the most expensive city in the world. We have uh, the, the highest one of the highest GDPs in the world. Um, you know, everyone's looking at Singapore, um, you know, and yet we are so far behind in so many ways. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm, yeah. And, then, and, and then, you know, we want to be a creative city, global city for the arts, but, you know, <laughs> there's so much censorship in this country. Yes. Yeah. Well, how, how do you feel that this, uh, this production will, you know, add to the conversation? Oh, well, I, I certainly hope people will come and people will talk about it because it's an important issue. You know, it's been 10 years since we um, campaigned to repeal 377A. 10 years! You know, we're 2017, we're going to be 2020 soon. And this year, we're still lumbered with the Victorian statue, which we inherited from the British, you know, which was, you know, in, in, instituted or constituted in the 19th century, you know, mm. by, under Queen Victoria. And we're 200 this, years <laughs> ago, Exactly. Yeah. You know, I mean, this is this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> but I, I see that you know having the, attended the pre, the previous production, you know it, it actually is very good family entertainment and Absolutely. it's heartwarming. Which why I said it's not it's not even a musical about homosexuality. Yeah, it's, it's about acceptance. It's just and part about love. Yeah. You know, it's it's like every great musical comedy, right? It's always about love. Every great work of art is always about love at the end of the day. And you know, it's just about willing to embrace and celebrate diversity. Yeah. Mm. Well, I think uh, Hawk and I saw you in drag hosting Pink Dot oh. <laughs> many okay, some, last, last, last year? Yeah, yeah, yeah a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. it's a desire to, to <laughs> get, up, get up on stage. No, 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 no. <laughs> that, that was only because Pam Wee couldn't do it that day. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why we had to go out. But we haven't gone out ever since. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. But, but is dragging something you're quite comfortable with? To me, it's, it's, it's just putting on a character. Yeah, yeah. yeah to me, it's, as an actor, I must play a woman. I'll yeah. play a woman. I'll, I'll play any character a director asks me to do. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, about, it, it's just about art of being an actor. Yeah, it's not about dragging. Okay, it's yeah. about uh, you know getting into, under the skin of a character. It happens to be a character. for you. It is the performance. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. absolutely, yeah. yeah, yeah. Was it difficult the first time to do that? No, it's, no, it's, it's, it's yeah. because because if you if you understand the the process of an actor, yeah, then it's, then it's it's not yeah. about it's not dragging. Yeah. The, the word dragging doesn't yeah. come into the picture. It's it's just about getting under the skin of a person yeah. who happens to be a woman. Mm. Yeah. yeah, or who happens to be a drag queen. Yes. Yeah. So that, that's that's different from people who really drag for drag sake. <laughs> that's <laughs> right. <yeah. laughs> I it's see. really hard work, you know, dragging. Yeah, sure. Which is why you, you don't see me dragging that often. <laughs> no, 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 it's, it's tiring. True. It's very, very tiring. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So we only we only drag for a cause. Yeah. For a reason. Yes. Yeah, but really, <laughs> but really, like people that do drag, they are playing a character too. Right? They, it's yes. like it's a, char a character that they play. Absolutely. Like, so. I mean, if you go and see Kumar on a normal day, you know, he's a, he's a, he's a different person. He's himself. Yeah, he's quite quiet. He's, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. he's himself. When, he, when he's in drag, he's in a persona. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's not playing himself. He's playing a persona. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, so tell us, like, you know, who should come and attend this production? Everybody should come and watch this, young and old. We wish you all the best. Thank you. Please come and watch. Yes, please we will. come and watch. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we will. And we'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay.